If you are a parent, especially a single parent, <laughs> please hear this. <laughs> this morning, I called my son to come and join me in bed so we could share a scripture together and also to catch up on some other stuff because I've been so busy throughout the week and we didn't have the time to talk. So he came and he was so excited. He jumped into my bed and especially because he has been looking forward to the time that moment where i will ask him to get into that bed because the bed is a new one and i've been dressing it making it looking so cozy so while we were talking just like any typical child he couldn't sit still he was just twisting turning pushing pillows here and there and he was just having fun but then that critical side of me started talking you know it was like just tell him to stop tell him to sit still but then the gratitude side just said you know what just let him allow him to have fun allow him to enjoy the bed so long as it doesn't cause any damage so when we finished my son of course thanked me for having that moment with him and then he went to his room i then was left to clean up my bed to make my bed look nice and comfortable again Whilst I was sorting out my bed, that critical voice came on again and it started asking me questions, right? Like saying, why did you allow him into your bed? Now look at the way that bed is messy. You were going to spend more time now trying to sort this bed. Why didn't you ask him to sit still? Tell him to come and sort out this bed and the voice was just going, no, 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 no. You know how those critical voice when it starts to talk. That critical voice was beginning to create stress and to some extent anger in me. As I continued dressing my bed, I then decided to flip over and I said, you know what, but why? And then that gratitude voice started talking. The gratitude voice said, do you know how blessed you are to get your bed messy by your child? Do you know how many people are praying and wishing for their whole house, not just their bed, for their whole house to be messed up. They want the walls to be messed up, the floors to be messed up, everything. They want it messy. They just want to feel like a parent. But here you are. You have that opportunity, but yet you don't feel grateful about it. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the quality time you spend with your child? Or do you prefer worrying over a messed up bed? That experience, to be honest with you, though very short, was so humbling. And it made me realize that as parents, we, we waste most of our time, most of that precious time worrying about petty things. And we lose that precious time or that precious moment that we could spend with our children or with our child. Yes, it is great to set certain standards for our kids. But standard, especially societal standard, shouldn't steal that valuable and memorable moment with our child or our children. We, sh we, we need to remember one thing that once our kids are grown and gone, that is it. As parents... The last thing we, we want to feel regretful about is the fact that we were not physically and emotionally present or we did not give our children the opportunity to express their childhood. And we don't, we don't want to feel guilty about that. Because I do believe that as parents, especially single parents, we know that it's challenging. I know that it is very, very challenging to make sure that we are there and make sure that we, we, we provide for our kids, make sure that we give them that moment that they need. But we should just allow the voice of gratitude to take over the voice of criticisms and judgment. Yeah, our children, same as we ourselves, we deserve to be calm and be grateful. Thank you.